Hello guys, you welcome back to Chubby Chemistry Story. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about something very important, especially for those of you that will be taking physics in your jam 2024. Okay, like I said in my previous video, if there is any question that you want to ask me, or if there is anything that has been bothering you, just drop it in the comments. I will see the question, I will see the comments, I will read it, and then in my next video, I will always like explain or tell you what to do concerning that question. That's why you need to also subscribe to this channel so that in case you have any question, you drop it in the comments and wait for my next video so that I will answer your question in my next video. Hope you understand. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to remember your physics formulas. Like uh, somebody started me up on water and was like, sir, I always don't know which particular formula to use for a particular question in physics. And I actually understand. So if you're in that category, calm down and watch this video till the end. I was once in that situation, like when I was also preparing for my jam, I had that issue. I always don't know what formula to use for a particular question until I was able to figure out this process. Let's get straight to it, guys. Okay, so if you are taking physics in this uh, upcoming jam 2024 and you don't always know which formula to use for a particular question, here is what I always do. I want this video to be very short. So that you guys will not say that my videos are very long again. Okay, so okay, so here is what you always what you will do. You know, like I told you guys before in my previous video, Jam will always try their possible best to confuse you. They will now go and bring grammar. You will see the equation that just requires only one formula or one tiny formula, but the equation will be in like three sentences. You will be confused. Jam will always try to confuse you. So once you see a particular question in physics, I don't know the formula to use for that question. This is what you will do. Just calm down, look at the equation. Obviously, when you're entering the goal, you're going to enter with your pen and your paper. And also then, once you see a particular equation, this is what I always do. I will just, first of all, read the equation from beginning to end. And then after reading the equation, so while reading the equation, you now, if you have actually studied, you now know the uh, where the equation is coming from. You know the topic that the equation is coming from. And then the next thing is to write out the par parameters that are in that equation. For instance, what, what, when I say parameters, that is like all those... Um, for instance, maybe a question on that wave, they will obviously give you something like velocity, frequency, or wavelength. If they gave you velocity, just write out the value for that velocity, write it down. If they gave you frequency, write out the value for that frequency. And once you write, you be able to, if th those are the only two param parameters that we're giving in the question, obviously, the, your mind will go to, oh, they're obviously asking for something like maybe a wavelength. And then immediately, you know the formula for wavelength. And it will come to your mind immediately. Then you'll be able to solve that question. So once you see a particular question in physics and you don't know the formula to use, write out, write out the parameters that we're given in that question. Once you're able to write out those parameters, the formula to use will come to your mind immediately. Okay, here is another way to know which formula to use for a particular question. So this one is very, it's not like, uh, it, it, is, it doesn't work as much as the first one, but this one works most times if the first one doesn't work for you. Once you're given a particular question and you don't know the formula to use in that question and they, they they are giving you answers. You obviously, know Jam is OBJ, and obviously, when they are giving you the answers to that question, they will also give you answer and the units to that answer. So just take a look at the unit. Maybe for instance, if the equation was for you to find the force of something on force, force that is acting upon a, a, a particular object or a body, then they ask you for force, and you don't know the formula for force. You, you, what we do, you take a look at the answers they gave to you, and take a look at the unit that are there. You know the uh, unit for force is a kilogram meter seconds raised to power minus two. So once you know you know the uh, unit for mass is kilogram equal to kilogram. Then you know the uh, unit for acceleration is meter second square. So with that immediately, you combine those two formulas, those two units immediately. Then the formula to use will come to your mind. I don't know if you grab what I'm saying. Or maybe for instance, if they ask you to find velocity, uh, velocity if the question is all about finding velocity, and you don't know the formula to use, no velocity, and you don't know that you don't know the formula of velocity the formula for velocity is distance over time but let's just say that you don't know the formula and then you take a look at the unit that is in the answer and it's giving meter per second so what do you know you know that um and the unit for distance is meter and then the unit for uh, time is seconds combine those two units and then take a look at the unit that was given to you in the final answer in the equation and the formula to use will come to your mind immediately. I don't know if you guys understand, but just try out those tricks I just listed out right now. And it will actually help you if you don't know which formula to use for a particular question. Thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe.